So, tonight is a winter solstice. I have a lot of rituals to do. And I will film one video I didn't intend to film. Entire guide regarding the Lilith is coming tomorrow. I already filmed the videos for that. But something changed my mind. One deity tried to contact me for the entirety of this day. It was Morana's loving goddess of death. And through browsing my Facebook wall, I realized that tonight is the night Morana was venerated together with her husband Chernobog or Chort in old Slavic times. So I decided, fuck the plans, so let's film me one video about Morana herself. So, since how dangerous Morana is, this video won't contain any magical chance when summoning the divinity. But it will definitely contain basic information about Slavic Lady of Death, the Slavic Grim Reaper. So Morana is the Slavic goddess of witchcraft, baneful magic, wisdom, knowledge, insight, transcendental states, and death. Not death in a sense, majority of Western sorcerers attune themselves to work in death. When Western sorcerers talk about the gods of death, they actually speak about gods of undeath or the gods of the dead and the afterlife. You see, Santa Muerte is not the god of the dead or the death. She is the god of the dead. She rules over the dead, but she isn't necessarily responsible for killing people. She is responsible for guiding souls. Morana, however, doesn't reside over any death. Or any dead. She is green, re green Reaper. She is the goddess which comes, takes her divine sight, and cuts the cord which binds your soul and your flesh, and you die. She is really the goddess of killing, the goddess of ending life. There is nothing metaphorical about death and working with Morana. When you work with Morana, Every time you summon her, there is a risk that you will die. There is nothing metaphorical about that death either. If you step on the wrong side of her foot, she will take her divine sight and cut you. But this is also an infinite opportunity, because every time you survive, your power grows more than with working with any other deity. She will empower you more and quickly than all of the demons I ever summoned and all of the gods of life. But there is a price. The power of Morana are not compatible with almost any deity. Even other Grim Reapers run away from her energy because of how aggressive she is. But there is also a good reward for work with Morana. According to Morana herself, every decent transcendental state is near-death experience. Every good spell should contain near-death experience. She calls near-death experience the key of all witchcraft. Without it, no spell works. And indeed, I found it to be true. If you work with Morana closely enough, you will learn to step into near-death experience without dying actually. And that's the key of all witchcraft. I didn't obtain it yet, but a few times I came close to that experience. And a few times my spells with her worked too well. The only magnificent curse which manifested almost immediately was with her. She is the goddess of true baneful magic which truly kills the target. There is one thing she can give, which only few divinities can. She can give true priesthood of dying, the true priesthood of Green Reaper. You see, a lot of the people ask themselves this question. Why my curse didn't kill the target? The reason is simple. Every time you curse, your curse strikes the target, 
but that curse also passes through the group of the gods known as the Grim Reapers. Those are the gods who actually come and cut the cord of the soul which separates soul from the body, which results in experience known as death. In order to be able to cast curses which will truly kill the target and shorten her life indefinitely by killing her, you need to have the priesthood of the Grim Reaper gods. And Morana is one of the few gods which can give that priesthood. Her power in that domain is almost unmatched. I worked with many divinities and no divinity gave me such a close confrontation with death as Morana. I called Kagin in his Grim Reaper aspect. I called many gods of death and undeath. But Morana was the most imposing presence I ever summoned in my temple. The one who desires to summon Morana and work with her should be completely aware what he is summoning. He is summoning the goddess of ending life and killing. As I previously said, there is nothing metaphorical about her coming and killing somebody. We are not talking about metaphorical death. There is absolutely no metaphor here. There is real and objective danger in this working. Whoever desires to ask Morana for something should give certain amount of life force in return. If you cannot give your life force, you should give the life force of the beasts or other people. She can do many things if life force is offered. However, the only life force which matters to her is the life force of the magician, and she will ask for it sooner or later. Once you offer her life force, link between you and her is eternal and it cannot be cut, so you need to be extremely careful. I won't share any magical chance for calling Morana in this video, because how dangerous she is, I don't want to be responsible for safety of my audience. But whoever is called to summon Morana, it will be released easy for that person to actually summon her. And the ways of calling her will be revealed to the initiate through the dreams by Morana herself. One should only raise a sacred space, really good one, and then lie and ask Morana to come to the dreams of the sorcerer for nine nights in a row and give incantations for her summoning. If it is done in a decent sacred space, so it doesn't attract imposters, it will work. So whoever is destined to, is destined to work with Morana will receive her incantations through this method. This method will, after giving you incantation, also through the confrontation with Morana in dreams, attune you to the hardships of her current. It is not unusual for her to attack her initiates in sleep and drain their life force, not in a sexual way, but in really dark and vampiric way. Those vampiric attacks during the night fortify the body of the sorcerer and prepare him for something much more magnificent and powerful. There are not malevolent attacks, those are gifts from the goddess herself. If one desires to work with Morana, he should be ready to endure all kinds of hardship and difficulty, because Morana is also a goddess of difficulty and suffering. But she can also give liberation through that suffering, through act of killing and murder. She teaches predatory mysteries which are based around ending life, but she is also profoundly good at healing which she calls the prevention of death. So she is goddess of murder and prevention of murder or death. And she is also really good for healing. By being apex predator, Morana is also really good for protection, like no other divinity. But there is a price to pay in work with Morana, and that price is unique to her current. More and more you work with Morana, more and more you will be out of touch with all, with all other divinities and spirits. She is pretty monolatrous, which means that if you work with her, 
you can only tap into all of her mysteries if you work with her only. So that's a real test for the many. Even I can stand to work with the goddess only for more than two weeks. So heavy and difficult she becomes. And I am not sorcerer without any experience. If one desires to work with Morana truly, he should also desire to turn off and destroy the white flame within him, the celestial fire. Only when the celestial fire or the white flame is, insti is extinguished within the sorcerer, one can truly pursue her mysteries. There is only one divinity Morana can stand to be worked with her at the same time, and that's her husband or her lover, Chernobog. Chernobog and Morana represent the dark pair of the Slag Pantheon. They are the Lady and the Prince of Darkness. They are not the same as Lucy as Lucifer and Lilith, however, or Samael and Lot. There are intelligences in their own right, and their mysteries are really different from what you find in the Clifford or some other pantheon. They are also much more harsh than the divinities from different systems I try, and also much more demanding from their initiates. Chernobog is not demanding as Morana, however, or I simply didn't work with Chernobog enough, but I found Chernobog to be much more, more humane than Morana, and uh, considering that Chernobog has controversial reputation, you can imagine how difficult it is to work with Morana herself. Morana is also the divinity of iron will discipline, which tortures people, and she also can be petitioned for obsessive love spells. So, if you desire to work with Morana on love work, I have two guarantees. Love work will definitely succeed, number one, and number two, you will definitely regret your love spell. Morana will also do the following. You can use help of Morana to bind sexual power of another male or female, so they cannot have sexual activity. I never tried this, but others like witches did, and her power to do this is infamous in Slavic witchcraft. She is also venerated in many Wallachian traditions, so you will also find her in Romanian witchcraft as a really venerated divinity. Morana is the only divinity alongside the Chernobyl, with almost unbroken tradition from the pagan times until this day. However, today, true devotees of Morana and Chernobog are far, are far and in between. Despite what is popular opinion, Morana is somehow compatible with the dark fairies. However, she is not Baba Yaga. Morana and Baba Yaga are separate divinities and many modern pagans are presenting Baba Yaga and Morana to be one and the same. They are not. This is really deadly and crucial mistake which can really force sorcerer to suffer and uh, have negative experience. If you work with Baba Yaga and you summon Tromorana alongside her, they will definitely fight or try to fight. Morana doesn't stand on other divinities as I said earlier. This is Winter Solstice, and if you want to start working with Morana this night of the Winter Solstice is the best for you to raise the sacred space, repeat Morana's name, and when you feel the alteration in the room, ask her to visit you during the night and give you true conjuration for her summoning. This way you can start working with her and tap into her mysteries. If this video reaches 3000 views, I will share with my audience the mysteries of Morana and one incantation for summoning her. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and see you tomorrow. I will give you 
the guide for Lilith I prepared. But tonight I couldn't give it to you because Marana came and she was glad I filmed this clip. <laughs>